Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Michaela. Over on my channel here, I like to do clean with me, declutter, organizing, decorate with me videos. I also love to do makeup tutorials and occasionally I will do vlogs here and there. So if that's your kind of thing, feel free to subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram at Michaela K. Cook or on my blog at lifewithmic.com. So in today's video, we're gonna be decluttering, organizing our walk-in closet. This is a space that my husband and I have just kind of thrown random things in over the past few months, and so it's definitely time to declutter it. I'm also gonna be going through my spice cabinet and medicine cabinet and just basically clearing out all the expired um, spices that are in there and just freshen it up. And then stay tuned for the end of the video because I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a super easy enchilada recipe. Anyone can make it, minimal ingredients. This is perfect for weeknight meals actually. So make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video. And if you guys are ready to declutter, clean with me, organize and just declutter all the mess in your life, um, then let's get to it. I was going through the bottom drawer of this storage bin and I just found like a bunch of cards from my husband and I's wedding day along with like a bunch of pictures of like my husband when he was younger and like baby pictures of me like you guys look I'm pretty sure this was my first birthday maybe at Chuck E. Cheese but oh my gosh I love pizza then and I love pizza now Oh my gosh, you guys. So this was when I played Mother Mary, like the Virgin Mary, for our Christmas play. I think I was in kindergarten um, when I played this. And my Nana, she made my entire costume. She sewed everything together because she was just so just handy and crafty in that way. Okay, my brothers are probably going to kill me, but oh, aren't they so cute? My brothers are way older than me. They're like 8 and 10 years older than me. But this was them when they were little. I'm not sure like how old. I wonder if it says on the back. No. Oh my gosh, they're matching pumpkins for Halloween. How cute is that? I love finding old memories like this. Ah, oh, this is hilarious though.
guys, my Mickey ears. Oh. I haven't put these on since my husband and I went to Disneyland last spring. Oh my gosh, the memories. I'm so excited to go to Disney World, you guys. I just like, that is all I'm ever thinking about every single day, all day long, 24 seven. I cannot wait. Let me know down below, like if you guys have been to Disneyland, your favorite things to do there. We've never been, so I am planning it all by myself. I'm like researching like crazy though. So I'm like trying to find out a lot of stuff, but like, let me know like your must do's down below. Um, we'll be there for about a week. So I'm really excited. So I wanted to share with you guys this Everspring all-purpose cleaner from Target. It is in the scent Mandarin and Ginger. You guys, I really like this cleaner. It's part of Target's all-natural um, cleaning line that they have. It's super affordable. I also have their dish soap. I believe it's in lemon and mint and it smells amazing. Let me know if you guys have tried this before because I really, really like it and I kind of feel like I'm cheating on my Mrs. Myers cleaners, but I just, I really like it. I definitely will go back to Mrs. Myers when they have seasonal products, but for right now, I just kind of wanted to try something new that's also eco-friendly as well.
also want to share with you guys that organizing your spices in these little plastic bins makes everything so much more easier, way more organized when you need to grab spices out of your cabinet. I got these from a container store when we were living in Hawaii. I would definitely recommend going to the dollar store to get them. They have tons of different sizes that are obviously very affordable, but when we were living in Hawaii, um, they did not have a dollar store there, but I would definitely recommend heading to the dollar store, picking some of those up. I always stock up on them, so whenever I have little knickknacks and whatnot, I just toss them in there and it keeps everything so much more organized. Hey guys, so I'm gonna start making my enchiladas for dinner. This is a super easy recipe, anybody can do it. It's a little after 4.30, so I'm gonna try and have these ready or close to being ready by the time my husband gets home from work so that we can just sit down and have dinner. Um, like I said, this is a really easy dinner that anybody could make. So all you guys need for this recipe is a couple cans of the red enchilada sauce, a bag of Mexican style cheese, some flour tortillas or any kind of tortillas that you guys like, and then a pack of ground beef. I actually have that in my sink um, right now on thawing. So basically, I'm just gonna throw this together. I'll show you guys how I put it together. Okay, and then while that is baking in the oven, I'm actually gonna be cleaning <laughs> my kitchen behind me. It is really dirty, but I mean, that's honestly just for life. And that's something that I'm really working on is not being so uptight about my house always being like spick and span and clean 24 seven because that is just not reality. And it'll probably be way worse once we eventually have kids, but just being okay with it not being clean 24 seven. But while, you know, I have those extra spare time you know, moments in my day that I can kind of tidy up the house and pick it up, which is a perfect time while dinner is in the oven. So I'm gonna be doing that. So I'll take you guys along with me while I make dinner.
looking good. We have about four minutes to go and then they will be good to eat. All right, you guys, so that is it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me while I declutter, organize, and make dinner. Let me know down below if you guys like this kind of video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.